Is it six? I think it's session I, six. I think so. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, and when we last left our heroes, I say heroes. When we last left our crew, we actually, were, maybe we were. Oh, we're no, it's episode five. Is it five? Yeah. All right. Last episode was episode four. Bugs, Mr. Rico. Bugs, Mr. Rico. Zillions, Zillions. of them. Um, do, do, do. We were going, we were beginning. I'll look at the friend here. Allure, a keen-eared barkeep. Now, I'm taking, I, I'm going to lean into this a little bit and say barkeep is different than bartender. He doesn't work here. He runs the place or he owns the place. So we have our good friend Allure. Get his face up here where we can see it. Did that show up for everybody? I never, I don't yes. quite trust Roll20 to pop those things up all beautifully, but I'm glad that it seems to. And unless you guys want to walk in, I could just have you have been here for a little bit at least. Um, pretty straightforward place, wide open kind of architecture. The only real structural barrier throughout most of the place is the bar itself, sort of centrally located. Um, everything else is pretty much tables that, in the event of a fracas, um, tend to get tumbled out of the way. Nothing's too heavy. There's a few, I hesitate to call them platforms kind of in the corners or whatever, but it's basically a single level space. Um, it's not a place that does live music. It's a place that serves drinks and occasionally food and probably companionship of various flavors um, up the stairs. But there's a few places sort of in the corners and stuff or along the back wall where the there's like two or three steps up to sort of a half raised kind of thing. And there's probably like a railing along that raised section to kind of separate the top that, you know, the, the slightly higher level. But other than that, it's, I mean, the floor is smooth concrete. Um, that very obviously tilts towards drains. Um, the, the, you know, exposed piping up above, um, no fancy lighting or anything like that. Uh, there's some lights along the walls that are meant to, they're like long, narrow vertical panels that are kind of made to look like windows, not to look out of, but to provide like a certain sort of diffused uh, uh, light, so dusk or you know, th things of that nature, it, it, the light tends to go more of a bluish when it gets, or orangish when it gets down towards actual night. And, you know, they, they kind of cycle through um, things of that nature. Are there um, well-lit Zima signs? No, no, none, of, none of that. Well-lit Zima signs. Somebody's... Well, yeah, it's not sci-fi if it's not well-lit Zima signs. Zima? Why Zima? <laughs> I mean... Uh, uh, Babylon 5. Babylon 5. They had Zima? Uh-huh. How I did it actually show up once? How yeah. did I never notice that they have Zima? That is... I thought you were flashing back to your own college days or something from James's thing. Or... Uh, Zima was post my college days. It unfortunately hit... I, I did drink it. I feel like but... that hit... That hit... Uh, that would have landed like right in the middle of my of my college. Zima on Babylon Five. I am yes. I I am posting an image even as we speak. I am horrified before you even finish doing that. But you know, I will certainly go and look. They must because have... it was futuristic. <laughs> wow! Wow! That is. To be fair, it's a bar, so I mean, you know. A Zima Probably. sign in a bar is legit, right? Sure. You know what the worst part is, Dave? Yeah. 
I know exactly what episode that is. Uh, I yeah, it, 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 that's that's the picture's actually kind of a giveaway. Um, so you I mean, say... he only guest starred on one episode, so I mean, injury, ah, yes, of course, injury, um, uh, incredibly industrialized planet. I like their picture there. It's like you know, rainy. I, I should have looked up Factory World, but I absolutely just wiped out or time-wise today. Um, impressive skyline, smokestacks, and flames from gas burnout. Travel without protective gear is not advised. Okay, then. This is a lovely place. This is really nice. Um, there's probably kind of a... So there's an entryway... You come in and there's like where the bouncer would be. You know, you you get like an entry, like a big entryway kind of thing where there's like sort of the the bouncer w would be and like the coat check at the side. Except functionally, this is sort of an airlock. Um, you take off your outer layers. Um, they go into the coat check, which is also like a cleanser type of thing. Or at least, you know, a place where you, it's all graded so the water can run off. Um, and it also lets, you know, the air cycle before you go into the rest of the uh, the rest of the bar. So there's a bit of a thing there. Um, Monster, do they make you check your weapons here? Is that, a is, question. Is that a um, thing? Is that a thing here, do you think? I'm going to say no. All right. I was going to say, what's the mafia level here? <laughs> the crime is... The I think crime it's a two-tick mafia, yeah, right? It's, 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 certainly crime is, is definitely up there. Tech level is, is up there. It's at the height of... Yeah, so it, say they probably don't bother to ask people for the weapons because they know that, that everyone's going to have a, a holdout that they don't see. Yeah, so you might as well just go with it <laughs> you might as well not insult somebody yeah. that you don't need to insult yeah well it tends to keep people i mean uh you know the, the you get a lot more bar we find out we get a lot less fist fights when there's guns around people just don't uh gas mask pedestrian so yeah images of the place gas mask pedestrians walking hurriedly down metal sidewalks with umbrellas treated to prevent acid rain damage Slow so Shadowrun Seattle. Yeah, pretty much. Slow, slow, slow moving. Yeah, slow moving containers being shuttled to warehouses. Storm clouds with multi-hued lightning rolling in. Very nice. Um, and the new there's a, the only thing you talk about Zima signs. There are like you know uh, glass glass panel. I say television, but you know, the glass, like the clear glass when it's not lit up panels arranged several places around uh, the bar. There are a lot of them, you get the occasional like sports ball thing going here or there um, or some, you know, some talking head analyzing, you know, what some other talking head is saying. Mostly it's like uh, news stuff with the, with the ticker along the bottom. Um, Church of the Stellar Flame uh, decries rise of various, you know, unorth, uh, you know, unsan unsanctioned cults. Um, uh, and the, you know, un unauthorized uh, unearthing of unearthing of dangerous relics and artifacts um, throughout the sector. You know, call, calls for their uh, members to, or calls from their members to increase policing of these areas. And, you know, because not because of the historical rem, uh, wealth of the, or historical importance of the thing, or what can be learned, but simply because it's like, you know, we are but, you know, ignorant, vapid children, you know, poking at the, uh, at the uh, unknowable, you know, dangerous uh, uh, leavings of 
of those who came before us can only lead to destruction. Um, uh, the uh, cult of engineers uh, had a back back in um, was it Rin Rin system? Is that the system? I'm getting that right. Um, I think it's a cult of engineers that runs the station SB one seven six. I think um, they're crying about um, uh, so, some um, increased criminal activity on the station, which is unusual. 176 is run pretty tight. Um, they're blaming the Bornico syndicate, uh, which I don't know. Uh, Armin, what is it? How does it? Uh, how do you, or do you, have any kind of reaction to hearing about the Barnico syndicate kind of like on the news, like making the news with their with their stuff? Because you guys have a little bit of history with them. Do you not? We do. We do. Is there is there any kind of reaction there or paying special attention to any of that stuff or any, any of that? stuff because you guys have some contacts with them uh -huh. um at and this you, point and you... i feel like they get on the news like uh 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 like mentioning major corporations on the news it's never anything good for other people <laughs> but it's not that surprising i mean it's not unusual for the bernico syndicate to be blamed for things um it's unusual for them to be named in a in a place like like that station like at like 176 because the, that place is run pretty, pretty tight. Um, some news from um, Warren, which you guys got. Um, House Mulcaith is uh, receiving, or should be receiving in the next day or two, um, ambassadors from Corward. Uh, uh, Baron, I need a name, but uh, like one of the. Or one... No, <laughs> not. Von Munchausen. <laughs> Von uh, Baron Iram, I'm going to say Iram, I R A A M. Uh, that's the house, not the guy's like actual name. Uh, it's coming in from the core world. There's going to be some, you know, negotiations there. Uh, some speculation as to um, the increased 51st Legion activity around the planet, whether or not that was brought in at the at the at uh, Malkaith's request for added security. If so, what does that say about the security of his own police force on Warren and what of his own security force? Um, you know, that sort of stuff. So you've got a couple of talking heads analyzing that stuff. Uh, Sun Eaters announced that they're like, you know, the pe people kind of watch the Sun Eaters as sort of like a doomsday clock. You know, Sun Eaters have announced that they've made some headway into their own uh, uh, pursuit of being able to form their own, form their own gates. Um, some of the Warren news has to do with uh, possibly the, um, what was it, the, the, the House Malkaith. You know, deal, you know, potentially increasing security both for the incoming Baron, uh, also because you know there's been some more news that uh, you know they they're they're on their guard against like some sort of assassination attempt by the Ashen Knives and whether or not they've been um, uh, hired by some other uh, criminal syndicate, possibly from outside of the local sector. Um, Turner Turner Society. Uh, active you know some activity um some a, a few a few uh what do you say labor strikes actually on this planet um dealing with um the factions here denouncing you know uprisings and you know inability to uh deal reasonably with um upstanding business people of the of the system and the sector uh 
some people are the the businesses are blaming the criminal syndicates the criminal syndicates are, are saying it's simply because they're doing uh uh you know bad business leads to the bad relationships with the workers we you know we have we have no control over that um cautions around the system at large um the ghosts were cited in not the system you guys are in um but uh they've been they were cited in breck so watch out for that because we still don't know what kind of uh detrimental effects might be from interacting with the ghost clearly they tampered you know the, in uh, several people you know several statements have been gathered from cults so you know it's you mess with the you know mess with the, they're misunderstood or you mess with artifacts this is a direct uh example of you know what comes of that uh any travel or sorry any uh, shipping that you might have been expecting from holt expect delays um the holt gate which of course as we all know is not usually a hundred percent stable anyway uh went completely offline uh about a day and a half ago for about three please hours tell me that please tell me that's not when i was fooling around with uh our, our new toy uh well and <laughs> you kind of miss the next part because you're like doing the math in your head because one of the the other anchors like now wait it doesn't it didn't technically go offline it activated and showed an area of space that does not correspond with the whole system uh no no uh no no drones that were sent through the gate uh, were returned back before the uh, uh, the gate itself shut down and then reactivated, uh, connecting with uh, Holt as it should be. And no volunteers were found uh, for live exploration of wherever the gate may have connected with. Margie's Margie's cackling, but off mic. I like that. Um, I mean, I mean hey, on the bright. On the bright side, you know, horrible chthonic deities didn't come slipping out of that's it. That's true. So, there weren't you know, the no tentacles it, were coming forward. Nobody nobody, funny enough, on the television makes a joke about that. Um, uh, but there's a you know, caution there. Uh some some shipping concerns have decided have elected not to uh make use of the gate until the um oh the star is it what league wh which engineering group is it that runs the gates? Starfares Guild? Or is that the, they're the ones that make the ships? Or is I think it the, they do both. They do both. Smart, Star Smiths Guild, Jump Gates, and Hyperspace Lines. Um, until the until the Smart Star until the Star Smiths Guild can offer assurances and more to the point, insurances for uh, any lost cargo that might be going through and not come out the other way, uh, come out the other end as intended. You have a couple of shipping concerns that aren't um, shipping. Um, some of the other ones, in any case, uh, the more uh, in the more the independent uh, freighters and that sort of thing uh, are using the gate right away, but still were delayed somewhat by the um, by the gates misbehavior and the fact that the star smiths wouldn't let anybody through for a period of time. I mean, technically, to answer Margie's question, it I mean eight, a, a day and a half ago is broad um but i mean it, it could overlap somewhat but i mean it could overlap with lots of stuff i mean technically a day and a half ago overlaps when the dude was killed down on the planet um it overlaps with i mean you can yeah i mean it, technically yeah and there's there's some there's some uh supposition that, that maybe you know they're 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 leap forward that they're crowing about you know this big this big leap forward that they're crowing about you know there's some you know uh theorizing that that might have something to do with what you know whatever happened to the not not to afford them too much uh you know too much credit but maybe that had something to do with it um although interestingly they're not taking taking uh credit for it and neither is anyone else so uh it may just be one of those weird things that the holt gate just does sometimes because the whole gate does weird stuff sometimes he's true um and that's kind of what's going on uh 
like you know that's random news stuff's going on in the background while you guys are hanging out at the bar um it's relatively quiet you guys got there sort of during the middle of the day it's coming down towards somewhat busier hours uh who's who's i mean are you guys all kind of at a table have you spread out is it a couple people up at the bar sort of chatting with a, a lore more than more than anything uh anyone playing space pool gotta be some kind, is that, of kind of, is, that, is that the kind with the cheap holographic balls in this kind of place yes i'm gonna say yes cheap holographic and this one's reasonably reliable unless there's a brown out um that's the good news the bad news is there's almost always a brown out um some sometime during the day but you know you can get this time of day without too many people here middle of the day you can get nine good games out of ten before something weird happens with the balls um what are you all well actually and we've got downtime here too so you got i want i want to um kind of turn that and, and fill in the space here with what might have been going on or what you guys might have been doing with regards to downtime activities because i think everybody has at least one left to do what's an interesting question and there's lots i mean there's all kinds of things um Acquire assets may be a little bit more useful if you have a general idea of like what the next job is going to be. Um, crafting, indulging, vice. I think there was a couple people that had sort of earmarked. Although Margie already took care of that. Laying low. Um, I think Armin has that as sort of a free one he can do. I do. You but do. I found out something while yes. reading into the move before doing it. Yeah. It is only of minor help at the moment. So, if you want to reduce the cruise heat and want to level in system, start by hiding in another system. Done. Say what your character does to reduce crew heat while hiding and roll an appropriate action. Well, you get to roll an action. That's better than rolling crew quality. Maybe you can sort with a friend, the diplomat, and she arranges for a few incriminating legion reports to vanish, or you command some criminal allies to rough up sector cops on the trail. Reduce heat in the system by two. Well, that's not bad. Uh Yes, but the other effect is much better. If you're wanted, add segments to the wanted reduction clock on the appropriate... Well, sure, according to your role. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, it's obviously... I mean, there, the effect on being wanted is nice-er, I guess, but the downside being you have to be wanted. Uh, if you want to prevent becoming wanted... Dropping two two ticks off your off your thing is not is not a bad thing. I don't think. I don't think it's a bad thing. Where's your what's your heat at over in Rin? Let me go look. Uh oh, a second. Look at these very nice clocks right here. Oh, look at these very nice clocks right where? Where am I looking? On the page where the players are. I am on the page where the players are. Alright. Oh look at that! Look at that shiny stuff. I still don't see it. Oh, uh, down scroll there. down. You gotta scroll down. Oh, huh. Yeah. Breck system heat, Rin system heat. How do you fill them in? Tell ah, me more. So allow me to give you a quick lesson on how these work. All right. If you right click on them and you select multi sided, you wanna use choose a slot, a side, and there is this nice slider nice and you can see as it gets uh more full it changes color yes i like that this is fancy i am impressed so we do not want it to get there no that gets ugly i mean but to be fair where it is was yellow that's not great because you had a it was like half full wasn't it or no, Rin, I'm uh, sorry, look, I was looking at a hold. Uh, Rin's up at three. But that's still, that's, I mean, it keeps it a little safe. I mean, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I don't think there's any skin. Oh, no. It's no skin off it. It's just not it's as just awesome as, as if you're wanted and doing really good things. Um, Long-term projects are kind of for anything, like 
I want to research blah, blah, blah. I want to do a long-term thing about what anybody might know about the uh, uh, Aleph key, you know, uh, filter the chaff from the wheat research, uh, you know, uh, uh, research wise with regards to, with regards to the, to the thing, uh, recover, nobody's hurt. So it doesn't really matter. Repair. I don't think the ship's damaged and we already did training and you can't do that more than once. So there's kind of, uh, I mean, I always, I'll always throw out um, long-term projects because there may be some stuff there that's worth it or uh, acquiring assets, which is useful for reaching out for um, special items, common items for the whole crew, stuff like that, depending on, on what you've got going on. So if anybody has anything, was anybody besides K looking to reduce stress? Probably yep. Armin. Yes. Yes. Several people. Yes. So we could probably, you know, that, that can uh, certainly kind of uh, speak to, you know, kind of what's going on when you're at a bar. Um, not that this is necessarily where you reduce stress, but uh, how, how does, uh, we'll start with, we'll start with Drifter. Um, how does Drifter, what is Drifter's vice? Um, I actually, the book says you could pick a couple, so sure. I had originally picked just gambling, but I realized that, uh, obligation also makes sense for his background. And so I'm going to indulge both of those, um, obligation in this sense means, um, helping out with the code and, and doing good deeds for your fellow spacers, um, and just kind of networking at that ground level, uh, kind of like, you know, you show up at, at the, at the spaceport and just haul cargo for a day for people. Oh, so he's going to... He's going to indulge both of these at the same time and offer to fix the bars, um, pool stuff, and get that back working, and try. then start, and then start hustling. Like, okay, try it now, try it, try it now. Oh, and then start pool hustling. I love it. That's great. Um, I mean, I'm assuming you're only looking for one role, probably in that in that situation. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. the, there's just one downtime activity. I'm just saying, like, sure, sure. They both. Right. Um, okay. Awesome. Let's. Hmm, 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 hmm. I just hit the button. You hit the button. Does it ask you what stat to roll? Uh, no, I'm just going to, I said, I'm going to hit the button. Go oh, ahead. And, yeah. Uh... I think it's probably, I'm just thinking about whether or not it's, it's rigged. It would be rigged for fixing up the table. What'd you do for um... gambling? For get no for getting rid of your uh, stress. It oh, is, is it is it just a roll? It's the, it's the yes. indulge voice button. Yeah, I just thought maybe it might ask like a thing, but it's why? going to take your lowest uh, attribute. Right. I recall that. Now, now I recall that. So a three. So I got four stress. I'll take I'll take that down to one. I think that went out really well. Nice, nice, very nice. Um. Out of my, for my own sake of curiosity, let's say, um, go ahead and roll your rig. I want to know if you actually had an impact on this. The problem is the components of this thing. Um, is this risky standard or what? This is controlled, <laughs> limited. So it's perfectly safe. There's only so much you can do with this thing though. Unless you want to like make it a little bit less, you know, jury rig it a little bit and make it a little bit more uh, uh, risky. I mean, it's not desperate, but if you want to make it risky and actually potentially get something going there, the risk being so controlled, very much bad is going to happen to the thing. But like again, I said, there's no, there's not much you can really do with the parts as it were. But there's lots I you, can six. you can do. I, I would like to I would like to pose an alternate risk though. Okay. Um, okay. The same guy who's about to be hustling on these tables is the guy is the guy in their <laughs> in their guts making changes to them. Literally, everybody's going to be like, hmm. hmm. But you know, I'll this, I'll take the result of I, that. I think the six pro the six probably came out. I mean, it's relatively limited. The 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 uh, the, the ball uh, uh, phase out. 
um, misreading of the location of the tips of the pool cues and stuff like that um, tends to, I'd say maybe more of a one in 20 than a one in 10, uh, at least for a while. Um, you think some of this might be sort of a uh, faulty logic board. So the longer the thing is up, the, 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 the greater the likelihood that it's actually just going to start to malfunction. So honestly, shutting it off and turning back on again probably did as much as anything did. Um, but the, you know, it tends to short out just as well, just as often as when you're winning as when you're not. So um, while people might look a little bit sideways at you for having messed with the, with the thing, um, it, it comes out okay. Um, risky would have been something like, you know, I can't do much with what's in here, but I could put some circuit boards in here uh that aren't really intended for this and we might get some better we get, might get some better performance out of it um downside being maybe the thing's not going to work at all after that um or might even be worse anyway anyway uh doesn't matter in this case so a little bit and no harm done there monster what is your thing what is your vice i <clears throat> Uh, flavor junkie. Flavor flavor junkie. Okay. So, I I know that I know that the bar does not like do a lot of food themselves. I mean, but they, given that they we've do been like here before and fried things, you know. Yeah, and you know, any port in the storm, but I'm sure that they must have some sort of delivery service or two <sighs> that I, I can like. You know, order some stuff brought in. Interesting. I am fine. Uh, I am absolutely fine with that. Um, I think this might just be. Do, 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 do. Are you sure you're wanting to re to to actually indulge your vice? You have a stress of one. Uh huh. Over you. Are you are you aiming at oh. are you aiming at overindulging? Oh, if 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 I if I drop it more than one, I I, you I end overindulge. Up overindulging. Yeah. Uh... You may want to wait until it's a little bit more. Because having a little bit of stress is well, as we all know, because we're all alive, having a little bit of stress is just the way things go. But it's a question of the cutting loose <sighs> thing. Fine. Fried well, no. Food. If you if you want to, your fried food is fine. No, 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 no. You have a hankering, but it's not an overwhelming. We'll, hankering. we'll have to find some other way to be entertained. He gets you like a half He's cracking his knuckles. He gets you like a he he find he like a, a lore digs underneath the bar for like I don't know he like he gets you the fried stuff and he like hands you like a like a like a jar of bloody Mary mix or something like that to dump on it, um, or the equivalent. Some Tabasco sauce, like a half bottle of like old Tabasco sauce. You know, it's not bad. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's eh. it's fine. <laughs> fine. Okay, so you don't really, you actually don't need to relieve your your vice. So or indulge your vice. You don't need to. You don't need to. No, we'll not indulge vice. We'll eat bloody Mary Sriracha. <laughs> Bar peanuts. <laughs> but there's just so much wrong with that. Um, and uh, Armin, Armin, did you already reduce your stress? I have not yet. How, and what is your yours is luxury? Uh, or am I missing? Yeah, I'm not doing it here. You're Let's not doing it here. Okay. okay. So, so that that's totally fine. I, Are you doing that gonna... later? Are you doing that? Do you want to be gone? For I'm a doing while? that. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll probably be gone for a little bit for this, because I'm gonna roll two downtime actions into one sort of uh, uh, stuff. Vintage scene. One, <laughs> one vintage scene. Or like a, uh, 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 you know what I mean. I uh, I don't. I'm confused. Just like one little side scene. To oh, one little. Cover I, I see. Both. Vignette. Vignette. Sorry. Vignette. Uh, vignette. That. I was. I somehow managed to combine in my head, in my mouth, vignette and beignet. 
So I'm pretty sure. I mean, unless you're having, but you know, uh, beignet uh, as part of your luxury thing, which would uh, probably qualify. Um, so okay, fried food for for um, fried food for monster. What's Sun up to? Fried food and peanuts. Uh, Sun is carefully avoiding looking at Monster's dish. <laughs> or stay, actually really sitting too close to it, because the smell can be a little eye-watering. Um, oh, yes. What's, what, and, and, and maybe just as well, do not you know, would not want to be thinking anyone wanting to take uh, the food in, in right here. Uh, what? Although, could make for an interesting, challenging time. What are you, what are you drinking with that? And I'm going to go around, Me? so think about the, yeah, what's Monster drinking with that? And I'm going to go around because I want to know, like, what, what, what a lore, al what does the lore already know is, like, sort of your, do like, go-to drinks? Ooh. Please don't. I'm not hearing you on the fermented goat milk. I think she said fermented goat milk. <sighs> Let me think about that. That doesn't right. sound exotic enough. What about uh, what about uh, what about Kay? And what's Kay doing? Is, are you like like kind of over at a side table up on the platform, uh, up on one of the raised sections, like just reading through a tablet, you know, doing what doing what research you can, or or what are you what are you up to? Well, as, as a scoundrel, I, I, I'm probably, uh, you know, saying hi to people I know and sure. shaking, you know, generally a bit. All right. So you're. I say my research for the ship. I see. I see. Um, and we don't want people to think I'm too bookish. That's see, and I, I, I wanted to clarify that. So you, 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 when you're out. You're properly social. You're not. You're not sitting over in the corner reading in the middle of a, you know, in the bar and ignoring everybody and just, um, you know, nur no, nursing a my, chardonnay. My the whole time. My friends are at the bar. <laughs> friends are at the bar. Um, That's so, where the drinks are. So during the so we've had we've had uh, Drifter kind of up underneath the pool table. Now he's sort of running the table against. Uh, Really, honestly, people who should know better at this point. Um, you're schmoozing and hobnobbing and, and joking, that sort of thing. What about you, son? Getting other people to buy my drinks for me. Getting other people to buy your drinks for you. Uh, what about you, son? I think uh, probably watching the... Uh, watching... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Um, drifter watching yeah drifter yeah since you're uh, the my, my options for people that you would watch as an entertainment would probably be either monster and uh, drifter and you in this case and you shied away from monster so drifter was kind of the obvious one it's gonna kind of watching I that quite gotten everyone's names down yet i i don't know what that's like i'm I, i'm not at all suffering in that exact same way we'll get there We'll, we'll, we'll get there together. Um, what are the odds that... Okay, so you've you've been a bit of a... I, I hesitate to say activist, but you've had some stuff going on where, you know, uh, the way society, industry, uh, uh, you know, uh, the sort of capitalist, corporate, capitalist, oligarchy flows, does not appeal. Um, are you connected with like-minded activists in any way? Or is this just something that is privately driving you and has, you know, kind of pushed you out of, you know, proper medical, you know, proper medical society kind of out to the fringes. Are you like also, you know, working with space Antifa? I would say it's more private. It's not like I'm 
going out onto street corners and well, I'm not, advocating for the. No, it's yeah, I'm not more saying private, that, but not with it's not like I'm uh, buddy buddy with uh, the uh, guy. I don't know any of the groups. That's fine, but private versus personal i guess now so slice it that way for me is it pretty much just your motivation or is it something yeah, that you kind of keep to yourself or, or are you like are you kind of ghosting around on on various like you know rise up message boards and things like that it's private private personal okay all right i was just curious if somebody would have like uh come over and give you the meaningful chin nod at some point during any of this um so sun's observing um did you have another uh, downtime that you had your eye on Long yes time. but i have no clue what okay all right well you they're on if you have the i know pdf it's round 185 i've been so. staring at the pdf <laughs> all right um What about what about um, maybe this is before I get to because Armin's been missing, so or absent rather, so I'm gonna circle back around to K and see if what what your and feel free, I mean there's no reason you guys have to use these you can always um, kind of get back to them with flashbacks although those tend to cost credit so that's a little tricky at this point but um if they're Stress. if they're is it i thought it's stress for flashbacks i thought if it was a flashback that took you back to a downtime activity it cost credit instead that's if you already used up all your downtime oh right 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 right. sure okay so i mean if you guys decide you kind of want to just scroll one away i don't i mean i don't want to build up like i've got 45 downtime built up or whatever um but if you worst could, case scenario, pick something you want and long term project it. Yeah. Like I want to Hmm. <laughs> I'm browsing I wanna, sp yeah, he, I'm browsing I space make IKEA for with the uh with the underground activists. Yeah, I, I I'm browsing space IKEA for uh for um um space Murphy beds or you know, whatever, so you can finally get a proper place to sleep on the on the ship or uh, I'm I'm browsing space IKEA for space IKEA like um, gunnery systems, but they're all made out of bamboo. It's uh, very ecologically friendly. Um, anyway, so yeah, any really honestly yeah, and reasonable until you realize you have to buy the stupid wrench to make them work. Yeah, and it takes converters to join them into your system. Yeah, and it, yeah, none of, none of the None of the bolts are the same size as the stuff on the ship and any of that kind of stuff. But oh my god, the hacks that you can use by getting a couple of these different things and putting them together. Um, so yeah, long-term projects, certainly um, assets. Again, the asset thing might be useful. It's like, I want to circle back around and have gotten uh, this common piece of equipment for everybody on the team before we go off and do this thing is a, is a fine thing to just flash back to and um, wouldn't probably even cost if it's reasonable. Wouldn't probably even cost any uh, stress, honestly, if you had no credit since you still have the downtime activity. Um, so you guys think about that, unless you have something to leap out with, and we will switch over to Armin here and see what's going on with Armin. Armin, where are you? I'm gonna go have dinner with my ex-wife. <sighs> okay then. How is that? I, I, my first immediate gut reaction <laughs> is how is that pleasure by any stretch of the imagination? But by all means, um, uh, anyway, anyway, uh, funny story to tell that I'm not going to tell right now, but anyway, um, where like, uh, so since this place is, the pits i mean there's nice parts of injury 
Well, I kind of thought that, like... Compared to the rest of Injury. I was about to say, at least in my head, I feel like at least, like, the rich people live, like, maybe not quite like the Jetsons, like, yeah. raised up above that, but... Certainly in the high-rises. Like, your, your hover car, landing pads... Uh, they might be up a bit. I mean, in, in a way, it's like Warren, but it's def, it's not net. It's not uh, it's it's not a Warren like Warren. It's not it's not like, you know, layers and layers of cities and everything so tightly packed that you can basically like stay on a certain level and never go down. But where the towers are, certainly, there's there's a you know places where you can get high enough to get above the worst of the murk and the and the scum and the uh, the most virulent of the acid rain and that sort of thing. So you pick up a space Uber and head. What's the place like? I, I, uh, I can't help but keep thinking of like the restaurant at the top of the Space Needle or something. But um, that seems like the perfect, sort like of that thing. kind of a thing. Like it's it's sort of like a ro like mm -hmm. a slowly rotating mm -hmm. type of thing, or at least it gives the impression of that. How long? Or, or there's a space elevator that's a six-hour trip, and there's a restaurant at three hours in. Oh, Ooh, that's great. I like that. I like that a lot. But, um, Bill, that totally reminds me of the Android setting with the Beanstalk. Android setting? I don't know if uh, it's a series of games made by Fantasy Flight. Oh, wow. Uh, is this Netrunner? Netrunner is based in there now. After Fantasy Flight bought him. Is that a video game series? It's a I, card game series. Card, oh, that's so, see, I was I knew it was a card game series. I just uh um that's fun. I like that. Uh -huh. um, I also have a board game for it called Android. Midpoint. I don't know what to call the place. I need something a lot more clever than, you know. Lagrange. Lagrange, sure. I mean it's wrong. It's so wrong to call it Lagrange, but about the demi mode because demi's half Ooh, ooh. how about the demi mond i like that, that works. demi mond play on words sure um how long has your ex been your ex um and is she really your ex or is she your ex i mean is she your ex on paper uh no it's more like we never got married because it was like the rehearsal dinners next week. Oh, my boss got sent up the river. I'm under investigation. I'm leaving. So this is, uh, this is like six months later. And now it's like, so she... I was on the phone with my lawyer, making sure she was going to be here. You left her, you, you, you left her at the altar. You basically left her at the altar. Basically. You, What's her name? Um, or is she is she one of your contacts? She is. Is she is she Aaron? Ow, 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 ow. Oh my God! Are you using that picture? Because that's a little bit. No, I was I gonna say different picture. That's a little mind, bit. But... That's a little bit extra for Aaron. Feel free to change that. Um, yeah, I, I figure that's like the family name, House of Aaron or something like that. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. A noble. Oh my God! You were marrying up. Uh, no, I was marrying down. So you're yeah. the you're the money. They think, so, they think governmental power is actual power, not money. Ah, I see. So from your this, point of view, from their point of view, you were marrying up. From your point of view, you were marrying down. Uh, from my point of view, I was buying into a large amount of very lucrative contracts. I see. So, well, let's find out what's going on here. I mean. Was that it? Was that was that the whole benefit there? Or maybe... I mean, that 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 is the part you have that a lot of time to Armin think about will, this. Will huh? cop to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Aaron's the family name. What's her? And, and what was her view of this? I mean, I don't know that that conversation probably came out. You know, no, this is all for the uh... royalty. Marries for or marries for fringe benefits all the time. <laughs> Sure. So, oh. 
All right. Um, what's her actual name? What or what's her um, like like given name? Hold on a second. I need a good one. I'm looking at the random list of names. What? Yeah. What? I'm gonna get it on the sheet here. Ow, ow, son of a... I love having the couch in my room, but it's whatever the fabric is generates a tremendous amount of uh, static when you come in contact with it and then do other things like touch my That's computer. A, if somebody has a suggestion, I'm just going to start like going through names because there's like Espa. Ooh, Espa. Espa Aaron. Uh, yeah. Need a harder name like a. Like a... Tilda. I'm surprised Tilda. That's in, I was about to say, I'm surprised that's in the list. Tilda, Aaron. I like Samara. it. Samara. Samara. Oh, go with Samara. I like that. Aaron. Samara, Samara Aaron. Samara, Aaron. Samara, Aaron. A noble. I'm just saving that. Is that true? Oh, well, that's true. James hasn't, or uh, not James. Uh, son ha didn't, or what did you? No, you trained last time. I did. Yeah, you yeah, trained last time. Oh, okay. Yeah, building a network of activist contests, getting familiar with or changing the sys systems, hunting for socially positive. So, or or um, you know, long term thing. Start acquiring some gear so you can get a proper med bay going. You know, it depends on, you know, what your what your deal is. Um. If there's a noble house, because you didn't, I want to learn more. We're gonna we're gonna have a little a, a couple of little flashback things here, because I'm I'm curious about some stuff. But we're gonna get over here. So you're going up the be going up the beanstalk here. Um, I'm gonna say that you're coming up and she's coming down. Uh, so she's already at the table when you show up. Did you? At least shine yourself up a little bit for this. Um, get of course. Get the warren off you. That that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. We had days. Yes, absolutely, of course. Sure. Um, so she's already waiting. Do the nobility constantly go with an entourage? Do you think, or is she actually sort of? Well, she's not here by herself. But I mean, is it bodyguard close at hand, wait staff, uh, uh, chaperone? Uh, it's probably chaperone, because the you know I'm figuring you know, given the ages, she's probably still an you know the heiress to whatever mm -hmm. instead of like actually any you know anyone important as far as day to day operations go. Okay. Um, so the chaperone is probably, um, I'm going to say, hmm, I have a thought here, but I want to make sure this actually tracks with the, f with the faction information. So give me just one second. Good job, Bill. Good job. What? Does the ship actually have a shower or a bath? There's a leak in the fuel cells where I over and stand here naked and hang on this. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, I love it. All right, let me look at... The fun part is I get a tan at the same time. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's a spray-on tan. Mm. No, that doesn't really work. Need a... looking for somebody that some faction that would hire themselves out and that nobles would would deign to hire them hire for sort of bodyguard companion work and I don't think I'm necessarily going to find that group unless Oh, yeah, no way. All 
All right. So yeah, her friend, um, whom you met and who has no real <laughs> fondness for you, and actually um, goes at some great uh, pain, ha has gone at some great pains while you're sitting there, at, or standing there, or whatever you know, in previous times, to point out your your flaws and myriad um, inadequacies. Uh, is a, mm, I'm going to say Carmen, sort of a short curly brown hair and a bit of a bob. Um, very physically present in the space. Tends to make you uncomfortable. Looks like the kind of person who does not solve things through negotiation. Um, and is, was sitting at the table and and talking looked like a not particularly like it, it certainly wasn't pleasant chit chat she was um saying with um samara or exchanging with samara and doesn't actually glance your way when you come in um stands when you get to be about like uh you know 20 25 feet away and steps back from the table and kind of assumes basically kind of a parade rest um Bodyguard name yeah. is. Did I say Candace? No. What did I say? Carmen. Carmen. Thank you. Her net. Her last name is not San Diego. Um. Not like Armin. Um. And just glares daggers at you. Um. Uh. Samara is much more, not polite, I would, I would say polite, but calm. Carefully, carefully managed expression. Doesn't look angry. Armin, I was surprised to get your call. I, I'm very happy that you answered. Um, good news, There's a I'm bit of a dead. There, there, there was a little bit of a snore at it. I was very glad you answered. It gets, it, it repeats itself much louder at the glad, um, you know, at, at the bit about you not being dead. Like, not everybody here is super happy that you're not dead. Oh, I never imagined you were dead, Armin. I, I, I'm sure I, I, there was a great deal of uh, upheaval in the guild and i was sure that you were adjacent to that based on some of the messages i have but i never i never thought you were dead i have great faith in your ability to do well with the assets you are given or that you're able to lay hands on and she's it's a bit more frank than she than, than she usually is please sit What do you do? Armel sit down. Okay. You know, he 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 has all of his proper etiquette, you know, down pat. So. Of course, of course. It's it's trained in, you know, for the court, for the for the guilds and stuff like that. Even if it's usually trained a bit tongue in cheek when you're dealing with the nobility, but um, the sort of the going wisdom there is, you never know when you're going to end up having to go coreward, and the closer you get to the core, the more that kind of stuff matters. Um, the guilds have a lot of power there, but the nobility, their power is a lot older. So, anyway, uh, so I'm not surprised that you're alive. I am a little surprised that you called and that you believe we have anything at all to talk about. So... It, you and know, all, also if we're the, gonna get married. We were kind of close, so I, I thought like, you might want to know that you know, I'm around, not dead. I'm, and I have learned those things. I'm very, Armin. You have never been one for wasting my time. 
except for about six months ago for a few days when I was waiting for the rehearsal dinner. But if it makes you feel better, I did not appreciate having to do that. I and I and this neither did the surgeon who had to patch me up. Well, doctor. I'm I'm sorry. Medical students. Son is. Are you referring to son? Yeah. Son's a proper doctor. Eh. Son has students. Um. Eh. Or no students, so that sort of thing. Uh. Well, I mean, I'm certainly not pleased to find out that you were that you were injured. Another snort from the background. Uh, but given that you, uh, outside of that one exception, really don't waste my time, I'm very curious to know what you thought we would be talking about that was going to take the length of an entire meal. I'll confess I'm not immediately predisposed to casual flirtatious small talk given our history. It's a little too soon for that. Which is nice to hear. I mean, she's not complete, sh completely shutting you down forever, but, um, or at least that's maybe how Armin chooses to interpret that, you know. It's only too soon for small talk. It's not a never for small talk. It could happen. Mm -hmm. So, assuming that you're not simply catching me up on your current medical state, what are we here for? Well, I also wanted to catch you up on, like, you know, I, I'm bouncing back from all that. I was in a very bad place, but now I own a shipping, or I, I, I'm i an investor in a shipping concern, and I own an export business. Really? That's... Mm -hmm. That's... And you hear, you hear Carmen kind of mutter a very interesting way of retelling events as they were told to us. A very interesting way of retelling events as we, as they were recounted to us. And she kind of, uh, 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 Samara kind of gestures with her hand, like, you know, da, 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 you know, kind of thing. So you're getting back on your feet. Do you have, so you've started up a business. Are you reaching out for some sort of business arrangement, some sort of business proposal, Armin? Um, uh, Armin kind of like gives her a blank look for a second. He's like, do you want to have a business proposal? No, I wasn't specifically looking. Armin, I, you left. And I understand that there was a great deal of things that were going on, but my family could have provided protection. I can only assume that you left because you didn't, you didn't think given those circumstances that, uh, it would be right for us to be anywhere near each other. And I appreciate the way that looks, if that's accurate to the whole thing and not that it was simply easier. But, and, and I appreciate knowing that you're alive. Not, and, and again, the snort. I am, and she kind of looks, actually seems to be speaking kind of, what I am appreciative uh, that you're alive. And I don't want to close down all connections with you, obviously. I enjoy your company. And there's another little, and she's like, Carmen, could we have... Could we have a moment? Can you do your due diligence from well out of earshot, if you don't mind? And she kind of, again, if looks could kill Armin, you'd need the surgeon again. Um, maybe inoperable. But she does finally um, sort of, it, you know, it's, it's one of those, it's a nice place you know, place to sit, but there's also like the very well-appointed bar, lots of crystal and that sort of thing. And she, she goes, mm -hmm. she doesn't go to the bar, but she stands near the bar. And uh, at least 
physically faces the viewports that you know the the glass the, the windows out rather than um whether or not they're actually you know real viewports out or whatever but faces out rather than specifically just staring back at the table i what are you looking for here armin i mean are we starting are you are you trying to start again is that what this is i'm i'm not I, I'm not immediately welcoming to that idea. I'm not immediately dismissing it. It's a little surprising, and I'd have to think about that sort of thing. I just, I'm just trying to understand what's happening here uh, before we end up too many glasses into dinner. And they have brought like you know, wines, water, various finger foods it's the sort of place where you show up and you get the you get the you get the whatever they're serving that night like the various mm -hmm. uh rounds of food so the appetizers and the three courses and the desserts and that sort of thing and it's just that's what you get because that's what they're doing um kind of a deal so the first round you know the first round of that sort of stuff is has happened here just <sighs> I've always appreciated that we're very straightforward with each, with each other. We're not always honest, but we're at least frank. So please be frank with me, Armin. What 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 should I prepare myself for? Well, six months ago, my whole life got ruined. Everything got taken away from me in one in one quick go. And she's, I'm just trying to get everything. She's just nodding back. along. And I just, or I'm just trying to get things back to where they were. And if that can be a thing, then it can. But if it can't, I don't think. Hmm. Actually, uh, why don't you? And you know you are indulging your luxury. So are you are you picking at the food, the drink? What are you focusing on here as sort of uh, the, the the you know? Just it's been so right now, long. <laughs> after uh, being out in the dirt and everything uh -huh. for so long, now it's just like I got to put on nice clothes. I got to come in here. Nobody frisked me for a gun or anything. I get to be a human being for at least an hour. You find it's actually really, really nice to have. I mean, the wall, the water's still filtered, but it doesn't taste filtered. Mm -hmm. That alone is like almost worth the price of admission. Like a good glass of water, proper. Didn't used to be my own urine before it went through the filtration system. Water or somebody else's or somebody else's water. I just don't want to think about that because monster. All the water tastes slightly of spices. It's just anyway. Um, I just want to run it through the Britter one more time. Uh, she, we anyway. Uh, we ruined a lot of Brita filters at, at at the consortium about ten years ago. A lot. <laughs> a lot and what did we learn? Photos. And what did we learn? It's easier to just buy the good vodka in the first place. Um, we learned know. is you can take mediocre vodka. Very, no, you and can take very good vodka, but bad can, vodka just. <laughs> bad vodka is always going to be pretty bad vodka, but you could take pretty mediocre vodka and and pretty much make it indistinguishable from the good stuff, if you ran it through the Brita filter to the point where the Brita filter needed to be replaced. Because that thing looked like it had been held over a match. Um, anyway, it was a fine experiment while it lasted. Anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway, so what I I think I mean. Let, let's get meta here for a second. She's your contact. She's always going to be your contact. How warm she is to this general proposal, I think, 
should depend somewhat on a sway roll. I think a sway? I am okay with that, unless it's a consort. Uh, I think it's actually probably a consort. Sway is more like convincing with strong arguments, and consort's more of a uh, schmoozy kind of... Well, I need... I mean, let me look. Let me so, look. Which is the more, sh which is the schmoozier kind of romancier thing? I believe that's consort, isn't it? That sounds like that sounds I right. So. I think I think that's right. The consort is not is not so shiny. Socialize with friends and contacts. Yeah, I think that's probably it's probably consort, which is not great news for. Or wait, am I looking at the right character sheet? Oh, I was looking at monster. <laughs> Honestly, if you don't have a better consort than Monster, I'm going to be terribly, terribly disappointed in you. I started with these numbers. Oh. Well, I mean, come on. Oh, yeah, consort good. Um, so, what, no, so if that's what consort is, what's Sway? Where does, where does Sway fall into this? Influence the someone with guile, charm, or logic. Jeez. Um... Because that's kind of, it doesn't really matter mechanically speaking because you have the same. Mm -hmm. I I want to have a better handle on. So, here's the thing. Yeah. I am gonna go with the line from Consort that says, "You might make a good impression or win someone over with charm and style," and I feel like that's what I'm doing. No, we'll do that then. We we will do that then. I need to get a better handle on, but let's go let's go with Consort for this. All right. This feels risky to me. It is risky because, uh, and I'd say the risk probably here is that she's she's certainly going to be withholding. She's going to be withholding trust anyway, but she's going to not so much withhold trust as ship it to a different system um, mm. and tell somebody else where to put it. Uh, so yeah, there's probably social friends and resources make a good impression on some over. New friends, or connect with your heritage or your background. Direct your friends. Sway. Okay. Yeah, sway is more of a deceive kind of a thing. I think more of a con, and that's not really what this is. So I, I definitely go with the consort. Um, so I think the risk here is that you know while she'll always be cordial acquaintances. Um, friends gets a lot further away um so yeah risky i don't think it's limited. i think it's i think uh, just from again you know meta level she is your contact so i'm not going to make it desperate at this point in time uh, partly because the background that you've established you did to yourself so uh, -huh. uh so let's say we'll say risky standard for this um just in terms of particular stuff. All right. All right. Are you pushing? Is this a stressful yeah. situation for you? I don't know. That's too stress. That's too stress. No, that pushes you up. Are you sure? Uh huh. You get to, you get to roll your uh, you get to indulge your vice here in a second. Uh huh. Uh, you you sure? All right. I, I I'm fine with that six. You're fine with that six? Oh. Uh huh. All right. So, I don't think, well, I mean, Armin, we can't ever go back to the way things were, because some of the way things were, were you were engaged to a member of House Aaron, and I was engaged to an up-and-coming member of the Counters Guild. And even if everything else were legally speaking the same, you're not that. You may be an up and coming ship financier. Uh, uh, what, what did you say? Uh, import, export? Um, you may be all of those things, but no matter what you are, it will be different than it was. And I don't, I mean, given what was said to us when we were informed of everything that happened, I don't believe. I believe at very best it will be some time before everything gets back to the way things were for you there, if they ever could be. 
Would that be accurate? And she's got kind of this look on her face like, isn't that kind of fair? Kind of like the crease, like, aren't we all just fooling ourselves a little bit? You know, kind of, you know, mm -hmm. thing. Now, that doesn't mean I can't get to know uh, an import-export baron or whatever you end up being ultimately. I might even welcome that. It may be a little bit more interesting in the counters guild, if I'm perfectly honest, but we should take that uh, slow, I think, if that's all the same to you. But business arrangements, social, we could start that sort of thing over. Uh, I'll allow, I think that we can, I, I think I'll allow that we can skip over uh, you finding someone to introduce me properly. We can, we can take that as done. Uh, for now, a nice dinner, some conversation and whatever else you might have decided that you needed to uh, get in touch with me for. But I'll, yeah. I'll take the, I'll take the pleasant conversation. You were always very funny. Or at least, well, at others' expense. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, I get that you're here for the pleasure thing. What's the other downtime that you were going for? Ah, so let's indulge advice really quick. Oh yeah, let's yeah, please. So Maybe that's a bonus die because doing it with friends yeah you're doing it yeah so and in case you guys don't know that um when you're doing it's not just indulge is it it's that's the or uh, that's the main one the other one is uh engagement roles right all right so any of the downtime roles if you're involving a contact and honestly i mean uh what was i gonna say uh should have done for um drifter as well theoretically i don't you know uh you're taking the lowest die roll so it doesn't really matter because you sort of got exactly the role you wanted um but since allure was involved in your thing you would have gotten an extra dice from involving your contact um so just so you know going forward if your uh uh downtime rolls Whatever they happen to be, it doesn't have to be um, indulging your vice. But if any of your downtime rolls involve your contacts, whether they're ship contacts or personal contacts, uh, you get an extra dice on the roll, um, which is something I'd spot earlier today I forgot to mention. So apologies around there. Uh, excuse me. All right. So did you get? I didn't see the roll. I got one. How did you get a one if you had extra dice? That was to get one die. Oh, Ugh. all right. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, because you have like a you're rolling your insight, which is no, which is no, no dice. I'm rolling my prowess, which is zero. Oh, your pro. Oh, sorry, your prowess, which is zero. Yikes! Holy yeah, moly! My insights too. So I'm gonna chalk that at least up to a certain extent to the fact that you you know you're you're doing something to relieve your stress, but this wasn't exactly a stress free encounter a lot oh of no especially not with what comes next oh, okay what comes next uh, he said cause, smiling because it's going to be like you know dinner laughing all that sort of stuff and at a certain point it's like yeah you remember when we were talking about business uh, uh relationships and things like that yeah i mean i imagine the oh. situation where armin goes so and she goes here it comes and sets her glass down kind of licking her lips you know can, um, can we can we perhaps backdate some of that stuff or some of those business arrangements to last week? How do you mean? Oh, I, uh, I suppose I was... possibly good. It I depends. I... Yeah. Cause you know, if, if I was an iota last week or last week and not Rin, that would be much better for me. Oh, yes, I believe. Um, I believe that word could go out that I have been in contact with my 
fiance and certain conversations have been had you're, you're you're all right i assume with officially being among the roles of the living among the roles of what I'm the sorry, the, the, the roles of the living among you know you, there, ah, yes there's a few people who were you know you were cutting it rather close to being presumed dead in a few places but um yes i I think we can do that. Is there anyone in particular or anywhere in particular that needs to know or hear of this, um, of our meeting that clearly took place a week ago? If you want to give her that, uh, several days ago, rather piece of information. Yeah. It's like, it, it, just, you know, make sure it gets into the Ren sector. That's that's all I ask. All right, all right. Um, so and that isn't there isn't really a role there. It's just a matter of reducing that heat. Just reduces. There is not a role there for that, is there? Yes. Well, technically there is a role, but we can't go lower than zero. Oh right, because the role is primarily for the uh, the wanted status, right? Yes. The other thing, it just sort of happens. Okay. Duly noted. Well, that's hardly any sort of favor at all. I thought you were going to ask for money. No, 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 no. <laughs> Not yet. I appreciate that you said yet, uh, because we, we, we both know uh, every business startup needs a little bit of capital from time to time. And Are you going to be a pirate? Because that would be very dashing. She she may have had exactly one glass too many for that for for, for that to have slipped out, but um, well, I am a captain, so I mean, all I have to really? do really space captain. Hmm. And she kind of like her head kind of toggles as she you know reacquires her glass and takes a kind of does this little head thing. Space captain. Mm hmm. Very, very impressive sounding. Uh, oh, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. That's why. Character sheet. Oh, did you already? Re no, you didn't. Let me reduce the heat. Uh, yeah, I didn't reduce it on the sheet, but I did on the clock. That's fine. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that is some fine. Uh, I got to say that clock stuff is very cool. Um, mm -hmm. That was 20 minutes worth of work. I. It's even cooler for being simple. I was doing the uh, doing uh, the burned over character sheets for Apocalypse World, and I only got three of them working. They're all working, but that was not 20 minutes of work. Right, that's all I'm saying about that. It was, it was a long, painful night. I got Rollable there tables are very easy once you know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. You know, I actually think I did some of those once upon a time for, I don't want to say it was a fate game, but it was something like that. They are very cool if you can get them. If you can get them worked out. Cult of the Seeker. I like, there's a couple ones here that you guys can't see because they're like probably on the GM layer, layer I'm taking, I'm, I'm guessing. Yes, I put just basically every faction. <laughs> every faction. Every faction uh, with the word plot afterwards. Bernico Syndicate plot. Counters Guild plot. Cult of the Seekers plot. They all have counters. So all of those are based on the plots that are listed in the book for oh, what the, okay cool what the guilds are or what the various factions are up to nice so i literally just pulled out you know that this was... one's a six, uh, this one's a six step clock this one's an eight that's very good actually that's super helpful because uh you know you've got gm has sort of roles to make in between sessions and that sort of thing okay so heat done uh, at some point in time, um, Carmen, I don't want to say vanished, but she went into some other room because she got annoyed with you guys flirting and apparently absented herself. Um, place has amazing security. There are other people around, um, you know, that sort of thing. I'll let Carmen know that she, you know, can feel free to complain about, um, our first much more private meeting that took place a week earlier uh, and, and that 
can go out here because too many people have seen us here to really change this particular narrative. But uh, clearly, this is our second meeting after burying the hatchet, so to speak, in a non-lethal way, much to my bodyguard's dismay. So all of that sort of thing. All right. Cool. So, yeah, any any particular uh, parting shots, comments, suaveness you want to direct her way before we wrap this up and, and have you heading back down the beanstalk? And we jump back to what's going on at the uh, at Laura's. What's the name of the bar? What's the Laura, What's the Laura's bar name? And don't pretend that you guys haven't been thinking about that at some point in time. The Elephant Bar. Really? No. Banned. Hortons. No. Oh, oh my nice. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know you're just going to get the puns out of it. I mean, I think we have that, and, and you know know where he gets that from. That's, so. wait, you, oh, by I'm any... I'm so proud, my boy. Wow. Hortons. Fine. You know what? Fine. <laughs> It'd be even funnier if he somehow inherited it and it had nothing to do with his people previously. Um... Or he's, he's like, I have to own this bar. I just have to. I need to retire right now just so I can buy it. Um, okay. So, back at Horton's. We you still have... the adverts that they, uh, that they have on the... Uh, this, uh, you know, the, this is advertisement, you know. Horton's! We are here! We are here! Oh, we are God. here! <laughs> oh. I really don't know him. I, I really, really don't. I'm going to be a restaurant pirate right now and dine and dashing on you. Oh, God. It's terrible. Um, wow. Hortons, who's here? You are. God. Yeah, the problem is we are here. Or I am here. Or you're, you are here. Um, I've been, uh, or rather my daughter and I have been binge watching through My Hero Academia. Which I highly recommend. It's terribly entertaining. Although it's somewhat hard. Uh, the third season isn't uh, out in dub yet. And, uh, the, the problem with switching from dub to subtitles is the voices are very different. And that can be a little bit jarring. And Kaylee has not built up a resistance to that. So it's difficult for her to listen to it. But we did find some place that was streaming the uh, subtitle third season. But the main guy, the... The main guy, the su the number one superhero, his reassuring thing that he says when he shows up is, I, don't worry, I am here. I am here. And he usually tags on to that, you know, I am here to teach this class. I am here to save you or whatever. But it gets worse as time goes on when you realize that he's made that his ringtone. And so it's like, a call is here. A call is, and they're like, people are thinking, and you know, you get the little like thought bubble of like, seriously, he made himself his own ringtone. An email is here. An email is, here. it's, yeah. So the we are here thing, that was, at, and especially the tone of voice with which you delivered it, Dave, was remarkably close to the way that guy sounds. So that was the first thing I thought of, weirdly. So nice. Thank All you. Right. Yeah. Very entertaining. I think that's probably her. Uh, I don't know. That, that's that's probably Kaylee. That, that it's that's her fairy tale. I mean, if, you know, to draw a parallel to James or something, probably. She's pretty obsessed, and she was pretty obsessed with fairy tale, but it doesn't hold a candle to the reaction she had to My Hero Academia. Anyway, hang on. She's asking me a question. I got it. So, anybody know what kind of job we want to do? Well, I was actually going to ask that about... that pays money. Yeah, thank you. Lucrative. I did have a question as to, like, is that, is now when that happens, is that... Um, well, we could have done it at any point. Okay. We could have decided we wanted to do a different job, or a different job in the middle of the last job. Okay. So, that would have been very infeasible. 
that's that's kind of why I was doing the the schmoozing thing. So. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Margie. Yeah. What were you asking? Or let me uh, talking about jobs. Ah, uh, right. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and there uh, there's certainly uh, an argument for if you if you don't really know what to do, what else to do with your downtime or something like that to kind of go. I'm gonna wait and see what our job is, and then see if there's a thing. Uh, but then before we do that, or before we, um, if anyone's chatting up a lot, because he. he a lord does not he does not get into like you know tell me about the last job kind of thing. He tends to pay attention, to you guys. So it reads very differently to him. If, for example, Kay does show up and tuck herself in a corner and read a book. Um, if Sun is, you know drinking or not drinking um and and that sort of thing it, it you know uh what drifters out of care what is what is if you're a lore what is to him like a tell from drifter that something's kind of up like like you guys are in a bit of a pickle like what, not that he has necessarily seen that, but what would that kind of look like as, as a, as a tell for him? How would it be, how would, it, how would his behavior be different? Drifter's behavior be different. That he's not hustling. Oh, so he's like at he, the, at because, the bar and just ordering drinks and. Because the requisite adrenaline level is being met. <laughs> Interesting. So he, he's. So he's at the bar, but he's still like kind of there's sort of like that maybe like a rapid tapping on the on the on the bottle kind of a thing, because he's he's kind of amped up. Is that... yeah, I mean, Dri Dr Drifter tries to stay like in the lane. He tries to keep you know the excitement going on. If there's already enough excitement in his life, he's not going to seek out any more. I see. And so, see. if he's actively being calm and just kind of trying to relax, that's a sign that something's wrong. I see. Interesting. Interesting. Very cool. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm curious to see if there's any kind of tell for monster thinking something is bad. Oh, I mean, I'm not sure. I honestly don't know if there's a tell for that. If there's a, I'm sorry, if, 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 if monster shows a if tell? monster, if monster, you like, if monster behaves differently, if things are looking if things are going a bit pear, like more than a bit pear shaped and you show up at the bar and it's like, well, they're doing this and they're doing this. I'm not sure if much changes for my, I, maybe, maybe it does. I, I don't know. Or it's his behavior. Um, no, I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I think he, you know, he, he, he kind of lives for challenges. So Bad, good. Pear shaped, you know, um, that's, that's, that's a, not a bug. It's a feature. It's an opportunity. Uh. Now the only question I've got actually that hasn't hasn't been raised is, uh -huh. is whether 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 Monster is carrying the artifact case with him or not. Since now, the last we left, he was holding on to it rather tightly to make sure that uh so it didn't wander away or something. Are you keeping it with you? Well that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Um <sighs> You don't sound glad. No, I, this 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 is not uh, glad making. And um, I, I'm going to ask a follow up question also because uh, while you're pondering this, because it may actually change your answer one way or the other, is he keeping a hand on the case? Because whenever he doesn't, people tend to fiddle with it and cause problems. Or is he keeping a hand on the case because he wants to make sure that it doesn't go missing or get sold before he has chance to put his own two cents in uh the is latter. It, so you you're you're hoping for something to I, come I of this. Collect this i want to collect the set yeah <laughs> pokemon baby um gotta catch them all <laughs> that is a interesting and it, it is my impression is that the whole idea of there being more than one, that there being this particular set of things that could do that, would that have been something that Monster would have even heard about prior to 
uh, K sort of explaining the the theories and the the and the, the um, sort of I say old wives' tales or you know I, the it's, 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 urban it's legends. Certainly, it's certainly possible that having it spelled out that way fits into some elements of the 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 mythology that the that the people have about. But he wasn't yeah, sitting around waiting for somebody to mention a key and go, aha. No, it no. was it was more like, you know, eventually somebody will figure out how the gate opens and the gate will open and I will go through. Yeah, exactly. But now it's been turned into a shopping list. Now it's been turned into a shopping list. <laughs> now 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 we now we have a goal. So back to the original question then, does he have it with him or did he leave it on the ship? Um I was curious too. I didn't know whether you were like taking a bit of like proprietary feeling towards the thing out of just keeping K out of trouble, or if it was something a little bit. Oh, he's, he's entertaining when K is in trouble. <laughs> uh, um, I think he is going to leave it on the ship, but he's gonna he is gonna make certain that the ship is, you know securely locked in a way that he probably doesn't usually worry about so very much hey you know usually if there's people that have snuck onto the ship that's that's a great way to end the evening yeah and we get to end after food and drink with a fight and a sh yeah dinner and a show um <laughs> nice you know in this case he'll he'll make sure he'll he'll watch to make sure that the uh that the the, the, all, all the hatches are, you know, sealed and secured. Sure. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, who still he, doesn't? Who who still hasn't may, acquired the downtime stuff? He may even say something along the lines of, you know, I'm looking forward to coming back and finding this here. <laughs> so super subtle, super yeah. subtle with his with his. Uh, interest levels there now yes. i'm very curious because there are organizations i should say organ factions uh that are also dedicated to opening up the gate so it'd be an interesting question to see if it has to be you guys doing it or if there are interested parties that would be would satisfy a, a monster to the degree you know to some degree of you know like well you know we are heading in the direction of the goal being met um, and we still get paid. Bonus. Being, being okay. paid always good. However, this is important enough that there is wanting to have a, a personal involvement in what happens as opposed to simply, oh, here, take this. In 10, 15, 20 years, maybe something comes of it. Yeah. That will be a very interesting conversation. I enjoy I will. I look forward to hearing that debate um between the various members of the, of the crew um okay so monster I am ready for that debate monster still has some downtime k and sun both have downtime is that right i think Mo monster I and mean, monster is kind of done what he needs to do vice wise right. um he's happy um yeah i mean it, it, actually he might be he might be a little antsy tonight well, um, I mean, doing the vice thing isn't really that. I mean, that doesn't really help you unless you decide to go for it anyway, and just you know. Yeah, um, I, I don't know that it would be seen as a tell because it's not just normally a way he is, but he does, he does seem to be distracted from the normal enjoyment sure. of, of whatever horrid food uh, <laughs> you is brought out from beneath the bar, and you know, and the occasional you know. The, the occasional yeah. bar brawl that he can get that he can wade into and honestly they break up so quick if you even kind of headers hey, we're just we're just we're good we're good we're good, we're good just, man here i'll just i'll, I'll help you up my, and my buddy we'll just work. My, yeah my buddy just tripped he just yeah. tripped yeah. we don't need any help over here thanks yeah, very, thanks so tripped. much i don't need any help so no. so fine just because the thing is you know there's a lot of things that monster does in a fist fight one of them is not 
pick sides. Um, <laughs> it's just well, you know, if 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 so if complicated. Some, if, if if there is a party that looks like they are being unfairly picked on that that cannot defend sure. themselves, sure, that's different. Yeah, but you know, cons- consenting sentience, um, beating the that are, that are, living tar yeah. out of it, beating the sentience out of each other. Yeah, yeah, you know that's that's good times. <laughs> um, so tabling tabling the downtime. Does anybody had anybody that's thought a Thursday. of Thursday? Did, did anybody think of uh, uh, anything they wanted to do with the downtime? If not, we'll we'll probably leave that. Um, the only the... thing I have is that I I would like a uh, a long term project kind of okay thing. Perfect. The work cool. I was doing before. So. So what what do we want to like? Where where are you aiming? Like what what's the long term project? Let's let's go back to that. Like what are you aiming at? What do you want to find out? What are you researching? Um. Or did we already have this conversation? Am I getting weird deja vu? Uh, I think I am. You know, I I I made the role and and the the thing that I was pushing for was being able to, you know, in some way identify the trace element or energy that comes from this that would allow us to potentially um, just like it or to facilitate our locating others like it. Okay. All right. So we could even have done that on the ship and that's fine. Um, I'm going to start up. I'm going to start a clock then. So what kind of clock. I think an ink, would you want to, is, is there an easy way to do this up on the thing? Yes. Walk me through this. Ah, so what I'm doing is I'm going to the hang, hang I'm on. I'm finding me an eight clock. All right. Where, where, wait, which tab am I going into? It's the same one we're on. Or no, I, I mean, talking? I mean, like if I start a new, like I see the rollable tables thing. Oh, do I do it that way or no? That, that is the. That is a difficult way of doing it. Okay. All right. Because there's resizing involved and other All things. Right. Let's not fiddle with that. So, though. here. So you said an eight table. So yep, I'm let's gonna say... go grab this this whole system heat. I'm gonna control C. I'm gonna control nice. V. And Lovely. then I'm gonna go hit the gear and I'm gonna rename it to. What find. Uh, research. Um, Holt Gate can uh no let's say um Aleph Key Connections or something. Oh yeah, that's a good point. So yeah, I mean, I I I don't see any reason. I mean, I guess. Long-term research is – we'll have to, I have to look at this. The question in the back of my head is if there's some reason that – like if I start a long-term research project, if somebody else in the group can help, like with a role or something like that, you know, advancing the clock, I don't see any reason that that wouldn't. Oh, just... yeah. So oh, yeah, two people helps. can work on the same clock. Yep. Or – Very cool. We can do the same thing where it's like spend a stress, roll an extra day. Oh, yeah. Totally true, too. So yeah, there's there's lots of and and to to um, Bill's point, Drifter could certainly help, and the whole dark dark uh, hyperlanes thing, all that kind of stuff is all to the good. So we have a long term thing, and I want to look at long term project when working on a long term project, either brand new or already existing. Describe what your character does to advance the project clock, and roll in action. Uh, mark segments on the clock according to your result. One second, two. So there's some, you know, you've got you've got your you've got your space Kindle, um, with a you know a, a pile of your typical, not too rare, with with some exceptions, but you know fairly expansive texts of various kinds. And you could have been doing some of that initial basic research. With this very specific, not not something you've done a ton of digging into in the past, 
you could have done some of that initial basic research just while the ship was flying into the system. So um, we you, we could certainly have this be um, the start of that long-term project if you want to, Margie, in which case you would probably roll... Uh, so you'd be using long-term project as the downtime activity and you'd be rolling. Eventually the character sheet will open if they keep talking. Study. Yeah, roll study. Um, which as it stands right now gives you uh, one die. And if your result is a one to three, you advance a segment. If it's a two or a four to five, you advance two. And if it's a six, you get three. It won't be a crit because you only have the one die to roll. And what are the, the input values here? So you just roll study. Um, but like position and effect? Oh, I don't oh. think that it doesn't come up for the long-term projects. I don't think. They do not. But I thought yeah. you said I had to click on study. You you click on study, but you just, it doesn't really, I mean, you, you have to click through something, but you can just click whatever because it doesn't really matter. So if you just let it go with its defaults for the for the thing so risky standard there isn't risk as such it's just a matter of how much you move the thing so with the three that's fine the problem i mean and this is what it is um you're doing some research and it's you're you're using sort of the most public texts um the stuff that you've gathered a, a lot of this hasn't i mean a lot of this hasn't been um what do I want to say? It hasn't been taken very seriously by you in the past and taken very seriously by a lot of folks. Um, so you got to find the right stuff to research. So it's just not necessarily – the texts you have just aren't necessarily talking a lot about the theory of the thing. Um, the This isn't exactly the same thing, but there's a whole – uh, thing that happens in this in this fantasy series called the name of the wind where like uh, the guy's family is like basically wiped out by essentially the boogeyman and he goes to university and the first thing he tries to look up is the boogeyman and people are giving him funny looks so he tones it back a bit and goes well instead what i'm going to look for and do some research on is the order of hero of heroic uh, largely legendary knights that haven't been active in 300 years that were supposed to hunt the boogeyman because every little boy uh, wants to be those guys. That's how everybody's interpreting it, kind of a thing. So, and he's younger than everybody else. So basically the, the head librarian comes over and goes, if you want people to take you seriously, knock this off. Like just table it, period, full stop, forever. Um, so it's not exactly quite like that, but that, that feeling that, you know, you're going to have to go further afield and, and a, into kind of that fringe archaeological territory. Um, you may be watching some videos with guys with very big hair going aliens, um, that kind of stuff. But you, what you find out is that, you know, there's mention of it as a theory. It's, it's addressed very dryly and academically in the stuff that you've got mainstream. So you're kind of putting that back of mind for now, now that you're at the bar, because clearly you're going to have to get into maybe some contacts that, you know, um, that are a little bit more into that kind of fringe theory stuff. Um, you know, dig up some, dig up some new books and things like that. But the clock and, is. And then Bill also had some suggestions and some, around. Yeah, some experimentation stuff there. Stuff like that. Well, you know, I mean, just some some other suggestions, and and I like the the connection in with the dark way maps me uh, potentially. Too. Yeah. Um, and that would be a really great way for the the two of us to sort of work towards that from from different. Yeah, I like it a lot, and that gives you. I mean, so what we're aiming at here is we're we're looking at uh, researching the ale of keys and how we can maybe use the various things to track them down. So that gets you on a starting point with that kind of stuff. So, good stuff there. I like it. Son, did you have anything? We spent a lot of time on this, but this is downtime stuff is weird, and I want to make sure that we kind of get it. Um, um, I would say I was also kind of looking at it, doing a long-term project. What were you thinking? Of I like it. Getting a proper like meg 
base and study area set up ah, on the ship. I like it. So what would it, um, just so I know, what, what is a proper study? I mean, is it just that you've got doors on or what, what do you, um, is there a hologram projector, um, a body imager kind of thing? Like I'm imagining a thing like, or, or just, you know, some place that you can actually close the door and properly sterilize from, uh, uh, um, is it, is it all a gear issue or is there some, some of it is gear. Some of it is laying down the line and tell and making it so that, uh, you know, Kay doesn't store her artifacts in here or monster try and cook up something. Is it, uh, is it all kind of hardware or is there some chemical aspects to it too? Like supplies that you need for, per, for the purposes of sterilization, um, uh, 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 making up synthetic blood, that kind of, you know, whatever, any of that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, some medicine and, or like chemicals and uh, sets to mix up some medicine. A rolling, uh, a rolling self-powered pallet jack of odds and sods for, for that sort of stuff. Getting a uh, bed large enough for monster to fit in. And be strapped to. Yeah. Um, that kind of stuff. All right, cool. Or set seal completely. Are you interested in a political or social complication as well? How? In, in, yeah, I was going I want to say in what way? Uh, if you get like an auto dock or some sort of like automated robotic uh, surgeon or or you know drop somebody into this tank and they get better automatically kind of deal, uh, the standard ones might be obliged to report. Uh, serious injuries such as blaster shots back to the authorities uh, the way that in in modern crime fiction hospitals are supposed to like if you go into EDR for a gunshot they're going to call the cops and it may be necessary to find ways to disable that functionality um I think probably not at this point since there haven't been too many gunshots fired at during our jobs I feel it's going to be, but that's fair. <laughs> the most serious injuries tend to be from monsters, bar brawls. So I guess, do you do you want this thing to be the sort of thing that that plays it straight and by the books, or you want this thing that like more of a, a of a black market, uh, or a, a black market doctor's kind of arrangement where it's not calling in, you know. It, it's kind of off the network as far as that, because you know medical stuff, you know. There's laws in place. You have to report it a certain way, that kind of stuff. Well, I, you... I feel only if that angle is interesting to James, but he's also got this like socially aware doctor thing going on, and that seemed appropriate. So that was where that yeah. suggestion came from. Yeah. So you can kind of like it's, it becomes sort of a fight the system kind of thing. I am in the wrong. There I am. Oh, I see. Fiddling around with this. Token layer. There we go. And, 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 and gear. And we're going to change that one to. All right. Where do you change? Oh, there it is. Duh. Right in front of me. Um. All right, let's get, oh, it's long. That's fine. Do, 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 do. All right, let's do um, for that. Let me look at, let me look at sun here real quick. Hmm. Hmm. Depending, depending on what you want to roll, I can come up with all sorts of reasons for you to roll what you want to roll. I kind of, I, I mean, me personally, 
So what I'm what I'm kind of aiming at here, Jim, and tell me if I'm off base with this, is the idea that this thing is sort of like off the official medical network and not reading like a a a completely legit legal clinic with a moving address, but something that's sort of like the kind of thing that isn't reporting, you know, everything that's done with its systems back to an official like 51st Legion database or planetary database or a hospital database or something like that. So something that's sort of like, um, you know, yeah, all the, you know, that kind of a deal. Um, so sort of a six clock, but I feel like at least initially just putting your feelers out, um, to, to even figure out where you would get started with something like that might, should be, I think a, Geez, a skulk? Is that sort of a criminal connection kind? That's usually sneaking, though. Could um, be a consort. Could be a consort. Could be a sway. Um, I like skulk. Sway is more of the, the sway is more of the lying thing. Um, um, I was about to say skulk could just be rummaging around through some trash piles trying to find parts. Yeah. Um, or trying to. Uh, get in touch with a contact. Have you got? Let me wait, let me look at your contacts. Have you got a contact that might be a good person to kind of reach out to for? You got a former patient, drug dealer, <laughs> drug dealer, family member, a doctor. Judah was the one that was on Warren, wasn't he? Or yeah, that there's some kind of connection on Warren. All right. I was going to um, Hospital admin is actually kind of interesting because you get into a situation where it's like, if you got any uh, equipment that you're decommissioning that we can sort of officially decommission without actually, you know, and kind of lose it off the back of the truck kind of a thing. So it, you know, it re, it, it's going to be older gear, but functional. It's not the, the, not the shiny new stuff, but it's, it's also kind of officially decommission stuff so it's not uh it's easy to take out the chips that are re that are sort of reporting it all reporting its activity and that sort of thing does that seem yeah you know kind of kind of going that route um yeah. so putting out those feelers reaching out to the contact are you being okay so Linny, liney 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 i don't know i haven't done anything with them yet yeah right so liney hospital admin is Liney, so I'm going to ask small questions then. Is Liney the kind of person where you say, listen, I need something off the books that I can install on a ship. If you got anything that's going to be decommissioned, do you go straight forward like that with them? Or do you say, um, I've got a little side project. I'm going to need some gear for it. Have you got anything that, you know, I can take off your hands that, you know, the hospital is getting rid of anyway? You know, um, I don't care how much dust is on it, any of that kind of stuff. And kind of, keep the who are they They're the kind of person who'd be like i'm not gonna you know help you stock up a you know shady you know uh, uh artifact smuggling who even knows what kind of thing not after the stuff that you pull kind of deal. or is pirates it, den yeah pirates den or or is it uh you know some 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 backwater uh you know you know uh synthetic skin clinic you know come on uh or is it somebody who's like you know yeah you just play it straight with them because you know that they you know it's it, they're kind of a uh, you know maybe they're desperate for money maybe their family is on maybe, maybe they need the extra cash so they'll do whatever they can kind of a deal um um i think i go more for the uh not directly saying vague it up a little what bit be used for yeah so are you are you playing on are they the kind of person who's going to respond because it's just a more it, it's a, it's a better thing to do with the equipment um are, are they the kind of person who's like willing to do it because it'll make them a little bit of money or do they owe you or they owe you a favor i'm right, right trying now. to get equipment to Set up a place to help heal some people that can't be healed in the through the yeah, normal networks I, and stuff like that. And th that's I know sort of, I can't 
come back to the hospital, but oh, so I these guys were the administrator to... at the hospital that you were at, where you were like, I can't do this anymore. Maybe or I, no, go with that. If you, I can't I mean, go back, I can't to any hospital. I meant yeah, I can't really go uh, back to okay. the hospital world, but I still want to put to use all of my training. So that is an excellent argument, uh, which I'm still. I think I'm still going to make your roles. I'm still going to have your role consort for, which isn't great, but at least gets the door open, regardless of what happens. So what you're doing when you're rolling consort, you don't have any dice in, so you're gonna, it's gonna, the system's gonna have you roll two dice and take the lowest roll. Um, but you're working with a friend. Oh, yeah. but you're working with. Oh, that's right. So yeah, mechanically speaking, so yeah, you're working with a friend, so that actually gives you a dice. So you're only rolling one dice, but you're not taking the worst one. So. Your odds, of, your odds of a better roll are actually higher with one dice rather than two and roll and taking the worst one. So yeah, good point. You're you're working with a contact. Thank you, uh, uh, Mike, for catching that. So, so hit consort, you get a bonus dice, and it should just have you roll the one when the system well, spits out its result. What position and stuff? It's uh since it's it, the downtime stuff doesn't really have a position, so you just take your take the defaults. It doesn't. Um, there's no real risk involved. It's just the the risk is you don't advance the clock as much. And we get our one dice at a four. And that's great. That moves your clock forward two. Um, Something like that? Yep. So I will. All right. Mul wait. I go multi sided. Multi sided. Choose a side. Choose a side. Right, right, right. All right. So we'll move two ticks up on that clock. And are they on this planet or are they someplace else? Are they in a nice? Is are they are, are they running a hospital here on this highly industrial system or? No, they're probably on someplace else. And if you ask me, what? We'll 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 go digging. How? Yeah. Broadly speaking, nice planet. Uh, is it more nice of a re planet. more of a research facility or is it a working hospital? It's a working hospital that likes to do outreach. Working teaching hospital? Um, is it the kind of place where like people go to intern when they want to like it's somewhere between like working like working their um, residency and working the Peace Corps? You know, where there's a little because you say it's like outreach. They, 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 they maybe like it's a hospital, but they've got a clinic in the you know in the slums kind of a thing. Yeah. Or that kind of a deal. Okay. All right, I don't have anything. Or, or, or like all the people that do their residencies at the VAs. Ooh, so I don't have anything right now because I just shipped a bunch of stuff to local things, but I will keep an eye out and I'll reach out to a couple places that might have something that we can maybe trade for. Uh, I understand what you're saying. I feel the same way sometimes. It's, you know, rough. It's, it's going to take some time. Um, have you got some place I can actually get a hold of you or you just want me to like send you a message and you'll get it when you get it. I uh, send me a message. All right. All right. Um, no, Hey, it's good to hear from you and it's good to know you're doing what you're doing. Uh, stay in touch and everything. Uh, drop by when you can. And we can always use yeah. an extra pair of hands, even if it's just for a couple of days. I mean, there's a couple of clinics out here that I don't think even you would think of as being part of the network. So, you know, I'll definitely drop you a note when I'm in the area. Okay. What are you, uh, what are you up to right now? Like, what are you? Oh, I'm, uh, kind of traveling from place to place, helping out where I can, but I'm hoping to set up a, uh, more solid location. Okay. Uh, that's intentionally vague, but I appreciate it. Uh, no, keep in touch. And, you know, they, they'll cut cut conversation. We'll have to get some more information on them uh, going forward anyway. Um, <sighs> Drifter. Uh at some point in time, when you come back over to drinks, or when the when the joy of uh, uh, running the table wears down, or during one of the uh, table resets, um, Alora kind of, you know, chin nods you over, 
uh, I'm having a, a tough time getting a read on how things have been going with uh, with the crew. Uh, you didn't exactly come back buying rounds for everybody in the room, but uh, it's just interesting. I, I I'm not. Usually I can get a read on people a lot easier without having to strain too hard. And you're reminded of the fact this guy used to be a part of a mystic order. So when he says read somebody, he's really saying, or at least he's implying, something a little bit more in depth than, you know, uh, uh, Kay's not indulging in her nervous tick, you know. How have, uh, are you, are, How's the crew? How's everyone getting on? I wasn't sure the first time that you guys set out together. Oh, things are going okay. Um, everybody has uh, has worked really hard, and it and we we're getting along. I think great. He kind of smirks a little bit, and he's it, he kind of like really everybody, and you know you know he's talking about um. Uh, Oh God! How did it go out of my head right at the right at the wrong time? You know he's talking Let's about start. Armin. No, Armin. Oh. Armin. Yeah, everybody's working really hard. In their own way. In their own way. All right. All right. Uh, well, you know you're always welcome back here. Um, you, you, coin to spend or not. Um, I like having I like having the. Uh, I don't know. Everyone, everything's a little bit more interesting when you're when when you lot are around. Uh, but every, uh, it's good to know everything's everything's all right. I heard a few things the last couple of days, and I wondered if you had anything to do with it, but uh, doesn't seem much. Um, I don't really have anything more to add to that. How long are you guys? How long are you? Uh, plan to be around uh, i think until we have a reason to ship out again you know <sighs> all right well i mean there's always people coming through so if you think you might need um a reason to ship out or if you're looking for work or anything like that i might be able to stir something up if you're if uh your hard working crew doesn't stir anything doesn't doesn't uh stir anything up immediately I, I think that would be great. And until then, uh, I hope more things break down around here. I mean, if you're looking like, like he's like he says that, not saying I will fix them for you. So depending on how you know how well you know him, you're just like, okay. Well, I mean, if you're looking for things to fix that are broken, I got a whole back room. So uh, not tonight, not tonight. But you know, there's always something. There's always, always something, especially here. God, the seals on the windows. I don't know why I let anybody talk me into windows in a place like this, like actual windows. Not here, but in the back rooms. The acid just goes through the seals like, ugh. Anyway. So, and about that time, Armin's back in. I don't know. Uh, where, what is the scene when you guys eventually all end up in the same space here? Did you take rooms here? Are you guys, uh, like, as the night's winding down, end up at the same table? Um, what's back the... Back room? Back room, sure. Yeah. Or, you know, at least a, 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 a semi-private room. Some, you know, something kind of like that. Because um, I could just be, like... I could just see Armin, like, come in, take off, like, his... Uh, 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 his, his hab suit to have to get right. here yeah and just be like shake sand off of it and be like all right we're getting off of this plan and we're selling that thing okay so yeah he ever uh allure initially offers you guys like kind of a booth you can pull the curtains on and was it just kind of gives you an odd look when you're all like no no we don't need the curtain booth thanks no how about the back room uh sure so the back room as such is really just like sort of the supply room. And he sort of set up a table back there where if people really want to, they can sit back there and play cards or whatever, but it's really just for people that he knows. They don't really have, you know, 
regular customers head back there very often. So you guys are, are, you know, kind of back there. Another round of fried stuff that, you know, he brings back too so that Monster doesn't poison the whole set. Um, drinks and that sort of thing. What, 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 on a normal night, what is Sun drinking? Um, generally something, uh, plain, just not a lot of extra add-ins. So like, uh, but is he fancy? Is it more of like a, like a, you know, nursing a, 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 a glass of Chardonnay for, a, for two hours or? Um, no, I mean. Hang, hang on, He's I'm been... sorry, hang in just one second. Sorry, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, so, uh, no, not fancy. He's been traveling for long enough, and it's not like he grew up in a particularly well-off area so you know he never really buy into the basic fear spending kind of a obscene deal. amount of money on not just beer but keystone something really terrible has that reading can you guys hear me yes okay i'm just making sure yes all right so cool i like that um all right, so Armin, you're gunning for this. So what's what's the um, how how do you if you guys if you kind of motion every you know get everybody gathered up or something like that? Like what's the is that is that the conversation opener? Like we need to yeah. get off this plant and sell this thing. Mm -hmm. All right, what does everybody All else right. do? Not getting off planet, yes. Selling and not thinking that is a good idea. Okay. So you want to have something that puts a target on our back? Target targets on back all the time. This, this is, is a thing really of value. Good... So. Target on back. Selling. If okay. we're not selling it, we got to make money somehow. So, agreed. You're, yeah, you're, you're muted, Margie. This is what I, this is when I speak up because that's what I've been doing the whole time. Everybody else has been doing other things, is, is schmoozing and talking people up and seeing what's ah, available. Ah, okay, okay. So, my question then is. Do you have something in mind that you're aiming at, or is this the thing where you go, no, I found the perfect thing. GM, what did I find? Yeah. Wait, which one? The, the, you know, my, my goal was to find a, 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 a decent job that didn't have a lot of risk so that I'm not suggesting pursuing anything specific to my, my longer term goals. If that's the question. Sure, 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 sure. You're just trying to find a good thing. There is, I, we don't have anybody I think that has, there's one of the uh, playbooks has like a thing where you basically like say, they get a free downtime activity, which is basically finding a job. Yeah, that's actually a move that I'm planning on taking next is oh, a yeah? friend in every port. Oh, the friend in every port. allows, yeah. Sure. In the meantime, I figured this was a good color text leading into that. No, it is. That's excellent. Um, you're not going to, I mean, obviously, necessarily have as much control over this thing. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. I just need a, there we go. Oh, okay. Um, uh, give me just a few minutes and we'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Actually, you know what? Hang, hang on just a second. Sorry, Margie.
daughter is too considerate. I, okay, I, that doesn't make any sense for me to even say. Um, the sound of a GM rolling dice. Man, we haven't heard that in a while. Um, Okay. Like you got two weeks to think about it because they're going to be out next week and then Mike's out the week after. Oh, yikes. Um, so three weeks, to, three think, weeks to think about it. So the good news is you found two jobs that are interesting, that, that sound like about what you're looking for. That's the good news. The, the bad news is they both involve living cargo. One, <laughs> one that can talk and one that can't. Um, so I will just pause there and, and, you know, that's, that's kind of the information that you've given so far and we'll, we'll pick it up right there where we're kind of explaining the pros and cons, but basically one of them's like, you know, transport this critter. Um, and the other one is, uh, um, uh, a person that needs to be moved past, um, a blockade that does not want that person moved past, um, kind of a deal. So, but oh, for that. moving a person. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So they're not going to struggle or anything. They <laughs> they're not going to struggle or anything. They want to go. I like that. As opposed to the critter that might. Well, if you guys are definitely down with that, <laughs> then we're going to go with. Um... I am. I can't speak for anyone else. Yeah, well, that's fine. Move person, move person, fine. Uh, it depends. How do the others taste? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Samples They're, on the way to lead to less in the commission. Very, yeah. I'm reminded Would want of... to be sure delivering good products. Sure. Would prefer did not talk. I am going to look, uh, it's a, um, yeah, you didn't get to, you're going to have to track the guy down. He, he had something, but he was, you know, middle of the bar. He's not going to give you the particulars, but there's some cult that wants their holy person, chosen one person moved past the blockade. Should be super easy. <laughs> yeah. And you are welcome. So, um, we'll just, we'll just leave it right there for, for the nonce, but. I do want to. Something did manage to pass in the uh, the, the the chat window there that I, I feel does need to be called out which after is? all the all the discussions about Hortons and all the horrible puns around it. That that no credit was given to uh, Bill's suggestion for the bar name of Zut Alors. Oh my God! I didn't see it. That's. Oh. Well, I wanted to call it out because blame and or joy should be shared. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. It got lost in the suggestion that immediately followed it with um, the whole stuff about working with uh, working with Kay about the about the thing. Suit allures. That's so bad. Well done, Bill. You're still in your game. Good job there, my lord. All right. Let us quickly uh, pass through um, the stuff we need to do with the earning of the XP. Assuming this thing ever opens. Oh my god, this thing lags. Um, I'm just looking at the ship run real quick. I don't think... I'm going to add a point to the ship's XP for expressing the goals, drives, inner conflict, and essential nature of the crew. I think that is fair. It it, it is kind of the gimme on. It is kind of the, every ship. it is kind of the gimme. Everybody everybody played their stuff, and we got a good picture that we learned some more stuff about their guys. I'm glad that people started up some of their some some projects and stuff. That's always fun. So, Armin. Armin, Armin, Armin. Let's get this thing open. My God, I'm just going to start clicking all the character sheets now just to start make sure they're open eventually. 
Um, I was about to say, if you double click the top of them, they minimize. Yep. Um, so. I mean, I mean, desperate actions. You address the tough challenge with deception or influence. Eh. Express your beliefs, drives heritage background. Yes. Definitely. Did did roll a consort of that one? Uh... Did roll a consort. I don't. I don't know that it was a. I don't know that it was a tough challenge. She's. He's not going to lose her as a contact, not with one roll. Um, it's just a question of whether or not there's the option of, um, you know, getting back to where they were at some, you know, relationship wise. Uh, Fair enough. So, not not well, super. If, I was about to say, can I take two for the express your belief drives heritage or background? Yeah, yeah, because we had a mix there. The drives, the background, it's good stuff. Um, we did not struggle with vice or traumas. So grab two there. Um, just going to click on everybody and hope they eventually open. All right, two points away from not having prowess at zero. It's exciting. All right. I have no idea which skill I'm actually. Yeah, that's that's the, that that was my next question. It's like, OK, uh, no, wait. yes, I do. All right. Skulk. Skulk. Hey, Skulk is. That's a that's a money situation for you guys. Um, Bay, you address the tough challenge with charm or audacity. You express your beliefs, drives heritage or background. Uh, struggle with each. Definitely at least definitely take one for the beliefs, drives heritage or background. I also like the fact that um, I like the fact that you know this whole like oh I'm just schmoozing kind of thing. It turned into no 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 I was getting jobs people. Um, so, yeah, definitely. I don't know if you were he you. I think you were gone when I was asking. You know, you know, is this the time when we we start talking about jobs and stuff? So I actually had that in mind oh, yeah. in the beginning. So, but yeah. Yeah, that makes it makes sense in context, and in hindsight, I can, I can see that was exactly where you were going, and I just kind of like, zoomed right past it. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely the place where we look at it. So, and that I think fills your bar up down there at the bottom, which gives you, if you weren't aiming to raise stats, you can certainly um, actually just pick an advance because your bar is, your playbook advancement bar is full. Speaking of, I know uh, a guy. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if you really want to, we could actually start off with the, um, with that move at the beginning so you can kind of dictate a little bit more about this job if you really want if you want to pick up uh i know a guy yeah because when you first dock at port after being away pick one it's not deadly it pays well enough it's not a rush job it comes from a faction you trust it targets an enemy you have or it targets an enemy you have and then you could like spend cred for additional features but you know at least get to pick one uh, uh you know something in there like it pays well enough or, or something like that whatever if you're so if you're so inclined it's not deadly it's not deadly ish <laughs> you said it wasn't gonna be deadly well we can survive decompression if we have our suits on anyway um but yeah i'll, I'll leave that to you you may decide that's going to be something you're going to go a little bit for uh, do a little bit later um drifter Address the tough challenge with speed or flare. Express your beliefs. Yes, beliefs drives for sure. Um, drives, yes. Background. Take two. I think. Are you talking to me? No, I was talking to Drifter. Okay. Um, I'm getting to you eventually. I clicked on That's sheet. all cool. I just wasn't paying super much attention. That's so I wanted totally to fine. Sure. Totally fine. Um, Monster, what have we got here? I had to walk away from the screen, so could you let me know what we have here? Uh, let's see. We've got... Um, I didn't roll any desperate actions. Um, yes. I don't think I had a tough challenge. Um, you know, beliefs drives heritage your background. Um, I think I got at least one there. Yes. Um, yes. I did not struggle with any issues from vice or traumas. I mean, you could have if you wanted to indulge and went over your one, but I think no. No. 
You know, would... maybe I would. Just... I mentioned being antsy over this whole, you know, everything else that's going on, so maybe that would make me... Um... I, it's late to yeah, jump. It's late to jump into, but let's. We can definitely put a pin in that and come back Mar to. Mar Margie, Margie is suggesting this is a bad idea. <laughs> Do you want to get us kicked out of our bar? May maybe not at the Lars. Okay. Okay. But yeah, you're right though. Um. Nice that it's a. Yeah, but yeah, definitely one of those things was like I'm. I'm diving in, man. I want to do this. Um. Or you head to one of those. Oh, it, yeah, honestly, it's just like one of those places where they're like, no, not him. Like the story that you wrote up where it's like, he eats us out of house and home and starts fights. <laughs> honestly, you need two vices. Because you need the food thing, but you also need like the, I need to relax by like punching people. Well, since, since we've got multiple ones, I, I kind of intentionally stayed away from that one because it seemed like too easy of a fit. Um, but, but if if we're allowed to have multiple vices, maybe I will go ahead and add that. Um, I don't think there's anything about not having multiple ones. Is there? No. I mean, okay. it's just a question of like which one, you know. The only thing that is a thing as far as that goes, is, um, let me find it really quick. 190 to um, oh no, they don't have this one. So, in Blades in the Dark, you can get kicked out of whoever your particular vice purveyor is, and you'll have to go, f you have to start a, a a uh, clock, a long-term uh... project to find a new one or to appease them. But uh, they don't have that in this one. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that's probably. I mean, they do. It's it's funny where they well, do some of this stuff where there's a little bit. Well, I can totally see seedy. why they wouldn't do it because it would be hard to get back to your vice purve uh, purveyor in Rin when you're in Breck. Yeah. So you kind of just get it where you get it, kind of a thing. Yeah. Meanwhile, Duskfall is. A city. Yeah. A very contained city. Super contained with gigantic lightning fences. So yeah. When you're when you're home, you're there. Um that was monster and finally our stitch. Uh tough challenge, no. Express your beliefs, drives, heritage or background. I'm gonna give you an XP for the background thing. Because um, we get to find out a little bit more about that whole hospital deal. And, you know, I'm going to give you another one for beliefs. I'm not sure if you're actually getting all this stuff together to, like, do some kind of independent stuff. Or if that's just the cover story. But it's enough true to your character that the people who know you believe it. So we've learned more about the character. And thus, I think, beliefs and background. Um, awesome. So there we go. We got that rolling up there. And I believe that's all she wrote. All right. Um, so, guys, thanks very much. I'm going to pause this thing, put a bow on it, and talk scheduling joy.